so we're gonna go ahead and do the impossible skill checks build again. It has been a little while since I've done it. And I feel like doing it right now. Just because. So, if you don't know what the impossible skill checks build is, it's all about the missing skill checks. So what we got is distressing so that my terror radius grows by 26%. I also get more blood points and deviousness. We got Huntress Lullaby, so that after I start hooking more people, they start losing time between when the indication and the skill check actually is, up to five tokens where they get no warning. Overcharge, so basically they lose 5% regression if they lose if they miss the overcharge, stacked on top of the 6% with the Huntress Lullaby, so it's a big, big chunk. Uh, and it also tremendously increases the difficulty of the skill check. And then we got unnerving, presen unnerving Presence, so it makes the skill check even smaller. It increases their chances of getting skill checks in my terror radius, and also it couples with uh, overcharge, making it even smaller. And it also helps with things like decisive strikes, so I won't have to really worry about it too much, but it all really depends. And then we got, for add-ons, we got Calm, so it increases my terror radius in treatment mode, but decreases it in punishment mode. And then we're going to go ahead and use an Iridescent King because I like the Illusionary Palettes, especially with uh, with the Impossible Skill Checks. So they don't know where exactly where they're going when I have a whole bunch of Palettes broken. And then we're going to go ahead and throw on a Black Ward because I don't have a lot of comms. I only got one actually. So let's hope it doesn't take up my Black Ward and my comm add-on like it did for my High Electrode when I was just testing out another build before this. And it stole my last high electrode, which kind of pissed me off. So what I actually did was I took off the Iridescent King and put on an Order, which increased it. Order's the one, right? Or is it Obedience? Or I don't... Whatever one increases the accumulation of my madness from the static field, this guy's already seen my shit. And then it also gives me the Illusionary Palettes. This guy's already seen my, my totem. The second, like, literally, the second. Let's run in this so that we can accumulate other people's shit. There we go. There's another one. Let's go ahead and stand here. <laughs> Oh, I could have cut him off, too. Hmm. Where's my totem again? Over there? Okay. I need to run right back to that totem, because it's sitting in the middle of fucking, like, in, like, it's, it's, what the hell are these totems spawn? Devs. Spawns are pathetic. These totem spawns are pathetic. <laughs> like, they're absolutely pathetic totem spawns. Every single time he misses this, it goes down by uh, 11%. I'm going back to that totem. Hi. I was going to go after the other guy, but I have... Oh, there he is. I'll go after this guy. Mmm, smarty pants. You want to go for my totem, you can die. Ooh. Just stick around my totem. Nothing's getting done. Yep, just keep looping. Just keep going. 
Yep. Where are you gonna run? Oh, you're gonna run over there now? I have super speed. One second, I'll be right back. Well, <clears throat> there goes the totem. You guys can go ahead and die, though. I have no problem with this. Fucking shitty ass totems. Devs are literally brain dead on putting totems in proper spots. Oh, the sprint burst is so... Oh, my God. The sprint burst on that shit is amazing. The sprint burst... The sprint burst is amazing. You can die. You broke my totem. I don't like you. Should probably go break that... That, uh... That thing over there. He ran that way. Well, yes. Fucking dog. <laughs> Is he trying to break my hook or did he just like fuck up the generator and shit? Well, hello there. I might as well go ahead and hook you. I'm pretty sure you might. No, wait, you're not dead. It's the other guy that's dead. You're dead on next hook. I might as well just kill you now. Uh. 
It's having a really hard time on this generator. Fucking bullshit. No matter where you go, I will find you. Like there. Man, I would just like a nice totem placement. Like that last game was good and all, but it was, it was, it wasn't what I wanted. Still 4K, but I wanted my totem to not fucking die in so little time because it's sitting in the middle of goddamn nowhere like this one. Guess I'll go for the double. Got him to drop it. He's just like, get out of my way! Oh, I tried to jump on that side. Didn't really work out too well. Basement? No basement? Of course I got the decisive... Oh, there's a hook right there. This guy's right here. <laughs> that was that was awesome. All right. You guys are just keeping me next to like you Guys are keeping me next to him. Ugh, this one's going wet better than the last one. I need to keep these generators unlocked, the ones that are close to my totem. I need someone to drop this.
You just lost that sprint burst. Oh, you're going near my totem. I don't like that. You stay away from that thing. Ooh. Meant to go and break that. <laughs> God damn it. I have a feeling someone's in that locker. That was a bad idea. You should have kept running. Nice god palette gun. Woo! I'm going to go kick these. I'm really hoping no one's at that totem right now. Get him to break it. That was bullshit. That was hella bullshit. <sighs> now he's just gonna tell his buddy that there's a fucking totem over here because they're survivor friends. No point to go anywhere. All the all the generators are on this side. Fucking fast shame, of course. He's gonna try and loop it, but there's no or no pallet there. Good job. Nice, thank you. I'm really hoping no one's on that totem right now. You're dead on your next hook. I'm going to kill you. I could have got him right there. This pallet's already broken. You're dead. didn't realize I was already gone, did ya? I'm gonna go ahead and hook you right there, right in the back. Right in the back.
I'm gonna keep you right there. Nice and cozy. Bring that all the way back down. Yeah, nah, that's not gonna work on me a second time. I'm pretty sure you're dead. Come on, buddy. You're just gonna go down anyway. I'm gonna go get the other guy. Just make this a lot easier and die. Oh, by looking backwards, you ran into shit. I don't think you meant to do that. Nah. Well, that was a really long and boring game. Stop breaking my totems and shit. <laughs> Every time they're in a dumb spot. Like these devs are are so stupid when it comes to placing totems. Like you never place them in good spots. Like they 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 never place them back behind these things or like maybe even behind this. In a corner like that. Fucking totem spawn right there looks stupid as shit. Like, they never place them behind these things. The only time they ever spawn on the outside of the map is on Swamp. Or I guess you can count uh, the game as outside of the map too. Like, on the outside-ish. Like, why not like right here or some shit? Look at this one! Look at this! Or like... Well, that that's kind of... You can't, you can't do anything there. But like... Put it on the outside of the maps. Put them in proper spots. Stop placing them in stupid ass spots where they're seen from across the map. It makes me mad. It annoys the shit out of me. Like those total spots are goddamn awful. My nephew could do better than that.
just all about this money I don't think about no thighs no Girl, you don't know about me So me. get off my fucking D my Born D. and raised in the die, die This is real as you gon' see you Girl, see. you don't know about me So me. get off my fucking D